Hello again. Thanks for watching this video and studying math with us. This topic is adding and subtracting mixed numbers. We'll talk about adding or subtracting mixed numbers um, by estimating uh, answers to check our answer and then the process for adding and subtracting. And we'll talk about a couple of ways to do these kind of problems. And we should remember what a mixed number means. Uh, three and two fifths means three plus two fifths. And this is the way we estimate if the number, if the numerator is half the denominator or more, round up. If the numerator is less than half, you round down. And estimating, as we've said before, is an excellent way to check your answers. Now we're approaching a work area where you're going to be pausing, doing some work, and then um, uh, playing again. Um, and so uh, please uh, pause. Here are the problems. And so uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I am back in a bit. And the first one we're going to do is this one. So we need to add 14 and 6 over 7 to 15 and 1 half. Now to add fractions, we have to have a common denominator. And the common denominator in this case is going to be 14. So I will have 12 over 14 up here. And I will have uh, 7 over 14 down here. So when I add the fractions, I will have 19 over 14. Now 19 over 14 is 1 and 5 over 14. So I put down the 5 over 14 and I carry a 1 to the units column. That's the 14 over 14 that I'm carrying. When I add those numbers, I get 0 uh, because they sum to 10. And I'll carry again and I get 30. So the answer to this problem is 30n 5 over 14 in lowest terms. Let's do uh, a couple of subtraction problems. Let's do uh, this one. So I have 13 and I'm taking away 2 and 7 over 8. Now, I do not have anything in this column, so I'm going to borrow 1, but that's going to be 8 over 8. So 13 is really the same thing as 12 and 8 over 8. Now I can subtract. I get 1 over 8, and I get 10. So the answer to this problem is 10 and uh, 1 8. Uh, the last example that we're going to do is this one. Uh, the common denominator is going to be 20, so the top is fine. It is 4 and 3 over 20, and the bottom uh, then is going to be 2 and 16 over 20, and I'm going to be subtracting those. Now, I can't take 16 from uh, 3, so I'm going to be borrowing 1, making that into a 3. Uh, but then I'm bringing over 1, but 1 is 20 over 20, makes that 23 over 20. So 23 over 20 minus 16 over 20 is 7 over 20, and that is 1. So the answer to that is 1 and 7 over 20. Uh, here we have a couple of people walking, and uh, you want to know the difference between the distances they walk. So we're going to have 49 and 1 fifth, and we were going to be subtracting 21 and 3 over 10. Now we will get common denominators. Where again, we're subtracting. Well, the common denominator is 10, so this will be 49 and 2 over 10. And this will be 21 and 3 over 10. Now I cannot take two, 3 from 2. So I have to borrow. I will make that an 8, and I will bring over 10 over 10, which makes that 12 over 10. So now I will have 3 from 12 is 9 over 10. And then I continue subtracting, and those are the answers. And I guess those are yards is the uh, units on that word problem. Here are the answers to those problems and the rest of the problems. 
Uh, and so, um, you know, those are available for you. Please feel free to uh, pause the um, uh, pause the uh, problem and, um, and and write these down. And you'll want to read the section in your book, do some additional problems to see how you are doing. And I'm going to close with time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. Take care, and I will see you in class.